Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and well, welcome. Hi. What are you I'm, doing here? I mean, you said I could do something in the future. No, 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 I didn't. Oh, you did? I said, I said maybe in the future, you know, but you used to come on these videos all the time and just muck about and put me off. I didn't muck about that much. Do you Wouldn't promise? You? Yeah, I promise I won't do it again. All right, then. Sorry about that. And now, in some of my early videos, you might you might always thought that I've uh, done these procedures on my own and that I'm just a, a one-man clinic team and it's only me, um, single-handed business, but it's not. I have a colleague who's called Bob. That's him over there. Hi. Say hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. How are you doing? Right. I suppose, you, go on then, I'll let you do this one then. Yeah, all right then. Right. I won't no mucking about. No, 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 I promise, I promise Okay. Right, so... Go on then, if you're, if you're the expert then, what, what, what do you think uh, has been going on with this one? I reckon he's been shipping yep, he somebody in. Right. He's been using our cotton bud. What do you think of people who use cotton buds? Absolute donuts. That's right. Absolute donuts. Who doesn't know these days not to put a cotton bud in their ear? Uh, they're absolutely off the red, aren't they? Yeah, completely in crackers. Yeah, I know. Um, so, yeah, this chap, he he tried a few things as well, hasn't he? He's not just tried cotton buds. What else did he try? I think he put some hair grips a in. A hair grip. Right, yeah. Or a bobby pin, he's, mm -hmm. got, he's stuck a bobby pin in his ear, trying to get it that way. Anyway, made a right mess of this, pushed it right down just in front of his eardrum. Um, and it, it, it's difficult this, as you can see, there's quite a lot of this dry skin surrounding it, which is squeaking a little bit. Um, now, I've got a good seal of it there, and I'm holding on to it. Why do we hold on to it for, a, for a quite a long time and not move, Bob? It allows the pressure to build up in That's the machine right, it to allows pull the, it out. It allows the suction tube in the machine to build up power so you can pull it out. That's right. Uh, not getting anywhere that bit, so uh, let's go for the top bit there. So how do, you, how do you think I'm doing with this one? I think you're making a bit of a meal of it, mate. Making a bit of a meal of it. So yeah. how do you think I can make it a bit easier for myself? I then? think you should have probably put some olive oil in a bit sooner. Yeah, you're probably right. In fact, I think that's what I did. Uh, got a bit of olive oil in and that certainly helped move things along in a bit. I probably should have done it a bit sooner, truth be told. Yeah, you should. Anyway, where have you been this whole time? I've been doing these procedures. You've been doing these procedures? Been, yeah, while you've been mucking about on the internet. You are mucking, mucking about, about on the internet. I don't muck about on the internet. You have all the time doing this This isn't all stuff. your own work. I do, I do these as well. No, no, I do them. Oh, all right then. This is why I don't let Bob come on to many videos, you know. You just take on the glory. He used to appear on a lot of my, old, my uh, older videos. And uh, someone asked me, where is he? Does he still work with you? And yeah, unfortunately he does, don't you? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Anyway, so um, we're going to um, put the oil in in just a second because I'm clearly getting nowhere with this. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere. I could have done this better. And you can see it bouncing up and down, can't you? But it's not, just not wanting to come out at all. So um, out we go. And as you can see, we've drowned it full of oil at all, but that can cause a few other problems, as you can see here. What problems does it cause, Bob? You get blurring on the screen like this. It make the screen go blurry. You kind of get this uh, wavy effect sometimes, which is why sometimes you have to just hesitate, wait for the screen to settle down. It's just oil in front of the, uh, on, on the camera lens, that's all that makes it do that. Like a dream sequence in a film. You know, it goes, I just said that. <laughs> it got, got to a dream. But it's going to make this a lot easier. You should have done it so sooner. A little blurry wobble there. I'd have done it by now. Um, but I think as soon as we get a good grip of this, as soon as you lift it up a little bit, the oil seeps down underneath it. And how does that help get it out, Bob? Helps to lubricate the ear canal. It does slide it out. Lubricates the canal wall. So when you get hold of it and pull it, it slides out a lot easier. Still touch it on, get a good old grip of it now, I think. And you can, you, you can hear by when the um, when you don't hear much of the air noise anymore. And what does that mean, Bob? It means you've got a full yep, seal, you can seal. pull it, and you can start pulling, you get some power. So here it comes, out she pops. Another wax baby safely delivered. Well done. And it goes without saying, this chap is not going to use cotton buds again. <laughs> As I've said many times, it's not what they are for. Read the label, it says, do not put in your ears. And if you do put any cotton buds in your ears, what are you, Bob? You're absolute donut. An absolute donut. That's right. So uh, there's the eardrum after there. So uh, uh, from me, it's goodbye. From him, it's dry. And for now, take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.